Hey guys, a quick one on working out with your gun and in the effects of sweat. Just gonna take the gun out quickly. The first thing that I look at is the holster itself. Um, whenever I get a, get a new holster, I take out all the bolts, lock tight them in, um, and re-secure re them. Uh, you'll see that on some of the bolts here, some rust will, will start gathering. Um, you just, whenever I order a holster, just I try and get a few more bolts with it, a few more nuts and bolts just to replace the bolts if, if you need to. Uh, the other thing is keeping the holster super clear, clean the whole time, um, if, especially if you if the sweat's on your skin and it's pouring down into the holster, this is an appendix carry by the way, pouring down into the mag pouch, I can gather at the bottom over here where the rounds are in, are sitting, this one's at least open, but uh, just something to keep an eye out, keep an eye for. Uh, constantly do bolt checks, making sure that the the uh, the bolts are not, are not getting loose. Um, and what I do with the trigger guard here is when is I actually take a lighter, heat up the kydex a little bit, put the gun in, and just squeeze squeeze the kydex a little bit tighter. So there's a bit more tension. You can hear that positive click working out nicely. Gun's empty, by the way. Um, what else in the holster? Yeah, just if there's rounds in the mag pouch, make sure that the rounds, take out the magazine every now and then, check the rounds themselves to make sure they're not damaged in any way or got mold growing on them and they're clean and dry. And of course, change out your rounds every so often, however, you, however, you, however often you feel is necessary. Um, so that's the holster. Just maintain good holster care. And the second thing is on, on the gun itself. Um, you'll see the rear sight is pretty worn out. There's a bit of, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, there's a bit of rust kind of gathering on the on the rear sight and in this little, this little nut over here. But uh, you just have to off, up more often blue up, put gun blue on the rear sight. Um, front sight's fine, no issues there. From uh, from sweat, you can see a lot of wear in the front of the gun from rubbing on my crutch when I'm running. Um, next thing is, and this is quite a big one, was the slide release. As the gun's inside the holster, sweat runs from your body down onto the slide, onto the receiver, down into the into the inside of the holster, and I found that it gathers. On the slide release, so it starts to rust the slide release and climbs inside this little hole over here, and then as it sticks to the metal and runs down onto the little uh, pin over here, which holds the slide release. And what what made it how how it caught my attention was the slide release was didn't bounce back as quick as it used to. It used to go up to the top. I used to push it up to the top and used to like kind of stick there, and then slowly make its way down. That's when I decided, hang on a second, there must be some something happening with the effect of sweat when, while, I, while I work out with the gun. Um, so I took it apart and found that the whole mechanism here was completely filthy and mixed up of carbon and sweat build up, made like a paste. So that was a quite interesting one, quite an interesting discovery. Um, I'll take it apart now. Another thing is to check the breech, make sure there's no sweat build up kind of in here because um, it can build up in here as well and also there's dust when you're running if you say you're trail running dust and sweat mixed with mixed in here is not a good not a good combination if you're carrying left-handed then your slide or sorry your extractor is going to be more exposed to sweat hitting on your skin and then running down um, building up in here so you need to make sure your slide extractor works works properly just check the functionality that it's not sticking at all um, and you clean it out as well. If you want to see the deep clean on this, uh, check my other video, I'll post the link below. Um, what else? The next thing was the rails itself. Make sure the rails are clean. Let me just disassemble this quickly here. Yeah, so going back, make sure the rails are clean the whole time. 
this is the main the main problem we found was the slide release I've managed to get stuck you can actually see a bit of rust on there now it needs to have another clean um, and then another one that I found was there was a buildup of gunk at the bottom of the recoil spring so the guns in this position when, you, when I'm running it would hit the somehow get inside here and or hit the, or gather at the bottom here and pull on this area where the recoil spring is connected to the slide this is all some rust building up here and a bit of a lot of whole lot of, 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 of gunk as well so you need to clean that out properly and make sure it's properly lubricated and cleaned um, other than that make sure the guns clean make sure your magazines well taken care of um, the ammo is fine make sure the holster is clean um, and not cracked anywhere cool thanks guys